I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, well. Hey, shout out to the intro class for covering up our slacking for the past week or so. My name is Greta. And my name is Logan. Attention Westado students. Students in Ms. Cheney's and Ms. Stoll's English 3 class are sponsoring a cereal drive to provide breakfast cereal to Westado students for the summer months. The cereal will be distributed through the Westado Food Pantry. Please bring an unwrapped box of cereal for the Cereal for Summer project. Cereal can be dropped off in the North-South Libraries at the North and South Receptionist Desk and in participating teachers' classrooms. Please donate to a Crunch for a Bunch from now until mon Monday, June 3rd. Just a reminder that Wopong season has come to an end. It's been a great year and looking forward to starting up again in October. Are you interested in helping spread positivity and kindness throughout our school? If so, you should join Mo Renaissance. We are looking for student leaders who want to make a difference for the 2019-2020 school year. Please see Mrs. McComb or Mrs. Brenner for more information. The members of Woe Renaissance want to make your senior year more memorable for the class of 2020. And what better way to spend a few hours making some of the last marks at Woe? The class of 2020 can purchase a parking spot to park in throughout the entire school year. Students will be given a designated number sticker that matches the number on their parking spot for them and only them to park in throughout the year. Be the first to sign up so that you can have a close parking spot. Pick up an application at either North or South Receptionist Desk and turn in your completed designs to get approved by Mrs. Comb or Ms. Brenner. As we look to finish the school year strong, additional great opportunities are available at WO Access for our students to complete coursework after school all the remaining Mondays and Wednesdays of the school year. Maggie made a video on how to sign up for Camp Sunshine in the summer. Let's check it out! If you're looking for information about Camp Sunshine, it's important that you Google Camp Sunshine Michigan. Don't forget the word Michigan because there's several Camp Sunshines. And then you'll click on this, which will take you right to their website, which has all the information that you need. It has a lot of great pictures about experiences. It has a lot of great information. If you're interested in being a counselor, the most important thing is right here, the Counselors tab. And you click on the Counselors tab. And this is how you apply to be a counselor. You can scroll down, click here to apply. There are resources. You can also come see Mrs. DeWard at the high school at any time. The other important thing, and it was on the main page also, but these are the dates for 2019. Camp Henry, which is up um, kind of east of Muskegon. Session 1, Session 2, end of June through July 7. Camp Blodgett, which is just north of us on Lake Michigan. Session 1 is end of July through August 5. Camp Sunshine is an awesome opportunity for everybody. For the students that I work with, it's the opportunity for a truly inclusive camp and some fun, fun summer experience. But for counselors, it's kind of the same thing. It's a lot like being a link here at school, only it's a summer opportunity and it's totally fun. There's no academics or school involved. You get to go to camp. Um, you're a camper right alongside your camper, and the idea is that you're their support and you're there to have fun with them. It's an incredible experience. It looks good on a resume or as a letter of recommendation for any possible career that you'd go into, and it's a lot of fun. Come see me if you have any questions. Hi, I'm Max Strobel. I've done Camp Sunshine for two years. It's a great experience that I always love doing, and I look forward to it again this year. Uh, I went to Camp Sunshine last summer. It was a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of cool people. Um, there's really good food and you just have a great time. Uh, I enjoyed Camp Sunshine because I got to learn uh, a lot about my peers and uh, how to handle situations and it was a really nice time. I did Camp Sunshine the past two summers and I mostly just like helped and volunteered for a day but this summer I'm gonna be a counselor for four days or three days and I'm really excited to be able to help out and have so much fun with the campers and all the other counselors for the week. I've been a camp sunshine counselor for the last two summers and it was really fun and I really recommend it and you really get to know the camper and your camper in a really fun way. Camp Sunshine rocks! Uh, so I did Camp Sunshine this past summer for my first time and I really didn't know what to expect going into it uh, and I had an absolutely amazing time. Everyone there is super nice, accepting, 
Uh, it's a great community of people there, and I think everyone should do it next summer, this upcoming summer, and I'm doing it too, so hopefully I'll see you there. CultureWorks Summer Studios and other summer events are available for this summer, and it's not too late to sign up. If you are interested in CultureWorks Summer Studio or any of their events, go to their website. There will be an informational meeting for all men interested in running cross country in Coach Knoll's classroom at A151 on Tuesday, June 4 at 3 p.m. Have a great Thursday, ladies and gents. We only got seven more wake-ups. You can do it. Thank Peace you out, Lou.